Hey, uh, what about me, Frattles? Guess what? Today is the day where I read you the short story, not the full story, but the short story of the brother bears. Frederick and his twin brother Nightmare. I'm not going to show you the pictures because I'm going to wait for you guys to order this when I make copies. It all started on August 13th, 1994. Fred and Nightmare were born. They were a little bit strange or something was wrong. For the first three years, they were sick. They barely ate, they barely slept, could barely move, and couldn't really speak all that well. Their father, Marcus Skolvair, tried to keep them healthy while mom worked. When they were five years old, something happened. That was amazingly kind of scary. Fred was holding a fiery power orb that he made from his mind. Marcus freaked out and yelled, What the hell is that? Um... Uh, Nightmare was amazed and so was Frederick. They were staring and Fred and Nightmare finally spoke. They said, Dad, look at the pretty fireball. Marcus was amazed that they finally spoke. If you're wondering why their voice is on like that, it's because finally speaking at five years old kind of spooks with them. Well, it doesn't, it well, kind of like messes up their voice a little bit, so that's why their voice is on like that. Yeah, that's why my voice sounds like this. And why my voice sounds like this. We gonna fucking speak to your five. Shut up. Once they were ten, they started helping the family for for example, if someone was sick in the house, they'd uh make soup and use their one of their healing orbs to cure them. Of course, since they were only ten, the healing orb didn't work at an instant just yet. It took five minutes till everything wa well wor worked correctly, but their mother Charlotte, perfect bear, was fine with it. She was so happy to have powerful sons. I'm not doing the girl voices, so I'm just gonna use my normal voice in this one because this is in any part that Charlotte speaks. I'm not gonna use a girl voice because I will not embarrass myself. Before, but I'm not going to do that. Marcus, said Charlotte. Yes, dear, said Marcus. I'm so glad we met and, and have this nice house with two teenage boys. Having kids at 16 years, years old was amazing. I'm glad I, I get to spend my life with you. Don't get all at me about them having kids at freaking 16. It's a goddamn book. <laughs> said Charlotte. I, I feel the same way, honey, said Marcus. They shared a kiss and watched Frederick... He's a He's always a grade ab above the twins, yet he still ruined their lives somehow. He was... Carter, is that our school? Said Nightmare. Relax. How the hell can I relax? Replied Nightmare. The bully who's been harassing us for four damn years is attending our school, and you want me to calm down? Look. We can handle this. We are strong. Remember, we are the Bear Brothers, and nothing stands in our way," said Frederick. Uh, but for the f for the last month, Carter still messed with them. Yeah, fucking more like, am I right? Taking their stuff, pushing them into their lockers, threatening them, and making them do stuff for him. That ended when Frederick stood up for him and his brother. Now, Frederick wouldn't hurt someone unless they made him fear for his life. I don't know why I put that. I was going to say, like, if they bullied them for, like, too long and they didn't freaking stop. I'm not going to change it. 
Uh, that afternoon he taught Carter a lesson. Carter left him alone after that. A year, a year passed and Carter still leaves them alone. So how's everything going at school, kids? Says Charlotte. Fine. Fine. Says Frederick in Nightmare. You guys want to guess what I got for you? Says Charlotte. What? Says Nightmare. Two tickets to Dave and Buster's Teen Edition. Oh my god. Thank you, Mom. Says Fred. Yeah, thanks, Mom. We love you. Says Nightmare. Oh yeah, you're cute again. You're cute with your parents. Shut the fuck up. A month later, the Bear family goes to Colorado. They stayed at the Embassy Inn and Suites. They had a blast. Frederick! Said Nightmare. Shut up, bro! Said Frederick. This place is so awesome! I know! I wish we lived here, said Frederick. That would be amazing, dude, said Nightmare. I just said Frederick and I said Nightmare. My head's in the loop right now, sorry. They explored the hotel and just have fun. Dun, dun, dun. Four years later, they are 17 years old and they have made enemies and today isn't a good day for them nightmare is walking home when a strange cyborg bear comes out of the shadows hello nightmare says the bear who, who are you who are you nightmare is interrupted when he drives a sword through him uh the bear the bad bear guy drives a sword through nightmare the next day frederick went out looking for his brother when the same bear came out and attacked him. Take this, you low life. Tell your grandpa I said screw you, Derek. Said the bear. Who, who are you? <gasps> said Frederick gasping for air. Me? My name is Don Von Kills. Said Don. Father of the Carter Syndicate. To be continued. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's got to end there. The second book will not be released yet. I'm not going to be uh, reading that yet for a while because I'm still in the process of making it. But I hope you guys like this video. Drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe to become a freaking friend of you dumbasses. My Snapchat is in the description. Go add me. I have two. I have my I have my account from this channel. And I also have another one. Just because why the hell not. So yeah, add me on both of those and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy, fam. And peace.